Hi everyone, Dawn of Sunshine Stitches. Today we're working on these pocket wallets. They fit perfectly in your pocket. They use a number five zipper. They will hold four cards. And you can use uh, repurposed denim or you can use vinyl. You want to keep your materials on the thinner side. It, they can get very bulky. These are completely washable depending on which materials you use. If you're using My Punk Broidery Vinyls, they are washable. All your measurements will be in the written directions. You need 18 inches of a number five zipper and you're only going to use one half. So put the other half away for another wallet. You will need one pull tab that's also a number five to match your zipper. You'll need your cotton fabric to have SF 101 added to the back. You'll need one inside piece, two tabs for the inside, and enough to make your card holders. Again, the measurements will be in your written directions. You'll need your outer um, pocket wallet, either vinyl or, as I said, repurposed denim or cotton. Do not add anything to your vinyl. You will need to make two guides. This is to help make our pockets. And I'll write the measurements for those in your written directions. You'll need one piece of bias tape. And I do as much prep as I can before I start stitching. So I went ahead and pressed that. And you can use purchase bias tape as well. You fold your piece with the outsides coming to the middle, press it, and then press it over again. So let's talk about the pocket piece because for me this is the most difficult part. Your measurements again will be in your written directions and I made templates of the size of a credit card, debit card, and I press this so we can discuss how this is going to go together. You're making both sides of your pockets at the same time. We'll attach it to the inside back. So you have your full piece for your pockets. The first thing you're going to do is fold down three and a half inches and press that to the back. This is three and a half inches. You want to press that to your back. Flip that where it is underneath your piece, then grab your pocket guides. This one is two and a quarter inches deep. You want to put that to the top crease that you added first, and you're working on the right side of your fabric. You should see the right side of your fabric. Fold that over and push it up against the bottom of that guide. So if you look down here at the bottom, you can see that guide is right at the crease. Take your second guide and line it up to the bottom. And if you're working as I am, it'll be on the left hand side. Pull your fabric down, press all of this area. Pull your guide out the wider, the two and the quarter. Pull your thinner, which is two inches. Again, using the wider one, go to the bottom. Sorry, go to the top of your press piece. Line that up. And then you're going to take your fabric and pull it again 
to the right. You're going to take your thinner guide and put it to the bottom and line it up with the bottom of that two and a quarter piece and pull your fabric down. And again, you're going to press your creases in. Then, lifting all your layers up, you're going to take that bottom piece that was just over three inches, line it up with the bottom edge, put a crease in there, just like this. Take your top piece, match your creases, pull your guides out gently, Then you're going to make sure everything is lined up. Press that really well and set it off to the side. Okay, after I make sure everything is lined up the way I would like it, I fold it in half and finger crease to find my middle. Then I'm going to use four of my credit card templates because we're going to trim off some excess. You want to leave just enough room for your credit card to slide in. So overall those are laying very well. I'm going to cut an inch off of each side, so you will, will as well. So trim an inch off of each end. We're going to do that with our rotary cutter. Just like that. Do the other side. Okay, we're still working on our card holder por portion, and you can see I have everything checked to make sure that we're even. The cards are sitting where I want them to be. So now, we're going to fold this in half, finger press it, find the middle, and we're going to stitch down the middle and I'll be right back. Okay, it's stitched down the middle. I like to do that first because it holds everything in place. Now the bottom where it's open, we are going to leave that for just a minute. You're going to take your side tabs that you have cut two of and you have added your lightweight interfacing you're going to put those on the ends of your card holder. And you're going to fold the excess to the back and pin those in place. You want to make sure those sit nice and tight so when we flip them they will be a nice crisp line. Do the same thing on the bottom. And when you're stitching, you may need to stop and adjust this bottom portion. You're going to do that on both ends and stitch a very scant quarter inch seam on the left and the right. I'm going to do those steps and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see the seams on both ends. Go ahead and unpin those and pull those out. And now you can see that it lines up with your pockets on your card holder at the top and the bottom. 
go ahead and press this on both ends. Be right back. Okay, you can see that I pressed it and it's nice and crisp. And you have your open edges, it'll be to the back that will be attached to the lining. And go ahead and just double check that your cards are fine, that you have room. I can see that I sewed my center seam crooked. But those sit in there just the way I want them. You can barely see the top of the card. And since this is a small pocket wallet, that's what we want. There's not a lot of excess room. So go ahead and pull those out. Now you need the inside lining of your bag. And this should already have your lightweight stabilizer added. Again, you're going to match your edges. Find your center. And the seam that you stitched on your card holder, you're going to line up with that. And you can see that our little wings go past our edges. That's fine because we're going to trim that. You want that centered from the top to the bottom on the back. You're going to stitch down this center and attach it. I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we stitched down the center, matched up the middles. If you look at the back, you can see that it's there. Now you're going to stitch from the top of the tab, down the side, and across the bottom on both sides. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay. You can see that I stitched around the tab to attach it on both ends. We still have this portion open, so now you're just going to stitch right across the bottom of your pockets and you want to stitch very closely to that bottom edge. Okay, we stitched along that bottom edge, along the sides, down the middle, and if you look inside your pocket now for your cards, you'll see that that seam has been sealed as well. Go ahead and trim the excess tabs on the side. You're just following your back inner lining. Now you're going to need your zipper, the outer portion of your wallet, and the lining that we just did. You want a number five zipper. You only want one half of the length. This will be used for another one. You want to put the right side of your teeth to the right side of your vinyl. That way when you zip it, the right side of your teeth are on the outside and so is your zipper tab. Drop your zipper down about an inch, inch and a half and clip it to the edge of your vinyl. Again, making sure the right side of your teeth are to the right side of the vinyl. When you get close to the curve, as I am here, I'm going to roughly measure how much it's going to take to go around that curve. And I'm going to make little tiny nicks to help that zipper bend. I put them close together and they're very short, no more than an eighth of an inch.
Now you're going to gently work that zipper around and clip it in place. You want it to lay as flat as you can get it. And you can see the little tiny notches in the zipper. And go ahead and use a lot of clips or pins. You can remove them as you get to the, that por portion of the stitching. The better you go around your corners with the notches and flatter it lays, the better your wallet will zip and fold. I'm going to finish putting the zipper on the outer portion, just like I did here. I'll be right back. Okay, our zipper is attached all the way around. You can go back and add more notches if you want to make sure it lays well. And again, the right side of the zipper teeth is to the right side of your outer bag or wallet. Now we're going to add our inner lining, right sides together. So the pockets should be facing the right side of your outer bag. And you're just going to match up the clips match up with the clips the outer and the inner portions of your wallet. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, the inside and the outside and the zipper are all clipped together and they should match. Now you're going to use a quarter inch seam to stitch all around that outer and top edge. Make sure to check by feeling the corners that you don't stitch over your zipper and that it's laying as flat as you can make it. So I'm going to do a quarter inch seam all the way around and I'll be right back. Okay, this video is getting a little long so I will try to get this in under 20 minutes. This is what your wallet should look like now. There's your lining, there's your outer, and you just stitched a quarter of an inch all the way around the seam. Now you're going to go in and nick all the curves so it lays better. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I did about every eighth of an inch from well below the curve to past the curve. Now you're going to turn that right side out. Okay, once you've turned it gently, Pull your zipper out, kind of finger press it, check the inside at the top to make sure that all your edges are caught. You don't want to turn and have raw edges up here. Now working on the outer portion of the bag, you're going to top stitch very closely to the edge all the way around and you're going to make sure that you pull your lining just slightly taut so it's nice and clean when you stitch it. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, all the top stitching is complete and I'm going to do a part two.